Hello everyone, it's me Tristan Amelcaster and welcome to the return of Pirate 101. We've had so many suggestions on this channel to bring back Pirate 101 because before this game came out, I was calling myself the number one Pirate 101 channel for gameplay and songs and all that stuff, but I haven't really brought any stuff since because Pirate 101, in my opinion, cannot compare to Wizard 101. This is just my opinion. I think that Wizard 101 is a lot better, but I haven't played both in a while. Actually, I've been busier with games like Grand Theft Auto 5, and I'm hyped for Battlefield 4. So there's a bunch of cool things coming out, but I have not been focusing on Wizard 101, and I'm going to try to return and make more stuff on that soon. But since this had high demand, we are going to be bringing Pirate 101 back. And I'm really actually happy to be playing this because I miss Pirate 101. It's a great game. And I had so much stuff in this game, even though I'm only level 9. This shows how little I played the game. Level 9, Buccaneer. So let's click play and get into this. I can see they got some new menu loadups and stuff. I have not been on this game in probably 3-4 to four months. Probably even longer. Just really haven't played... Welcome back, pirate. Previously on Pirate 101. We're searching for the lost treasure of Captain Gun, but Ratbeard stole Gun's will. Ratbeard's hiding in the town of Flotsam. One Eye Jack can help us find him if we can find Jack. Let's get to it then. Away we go. So thank you all for 2,000 subscribers. It means a lot, and that's just such an incredible number. And as the subscribers grow, I think my channel grows as well because it it kind of shows that my content is getting better. And the more subscribers doesn't mean I get more money because I'm not even making profit. I'm just happy to see um, how many people actually watch my videos, and it means a lot. So um, let's talk to Mickey Dugan, this guy. It's a new party quest. Or something. I saw it on like this trailer. Well, hello there. You seen Avery's latest treasure? It's a statue somebody found floating between worlds. It really is a sight to see. But ever since it got here, something's been different. Eh, nobody listens to me. Would you take a look and see if anything's fishy? Whoa, we're having some lag. Oh, we received a gift. Party hat, hammerhead, lonely buffaloon. Yeah. We'll put on one of these legit mounts. My backpack. We're having a lot of lag right now. Very fast. I'll put that. Yeah. That's cool. So, um, so it is Halloween at the time I'm making this, or not yet, but it's before Halloween, so they got all the Halloween stuff in, of course. And this game is basically empty as I see it. I don't see a ton of people on. Um, I see a lot more on Wizard 101. Let's interact. Hey, but you can interact with the presence. <laughs> Look. My quest. So explore the mysterious statue. Let's explore it. Let's take a look at this thing. I sense something troubling about this statue. Madame Vadima is versed in the dark arts. She will know more. I would not bring a random statue floating around to my house. This guy. Does not know what he's thinking of. <laughs> so, now we gotta talk to the witch doctor, or whoever she is. Lag. Okay, there we go. Ah, statue. Yes, I know all about it and its dark power. You know who carvings are? No? Listen then. Statue is of Captain Robin and first mate Young John, 
famous pirates. Long ago, they found vast treasure, gave us gift to orphanage in Darkmoor. Orphans carve statue in thanks, but treasure brings only trouble. Phantom of pirate who first buried treasure came to take it back. But Phantom's gold was spent. Angry, Phantom put curse on village. Village wither. Only statue remained. Now, statue is here, and curse comes with it. Oh, that's a bad thing. Soon, bad luck and evil spirits will come, unless we act now. I know how to break curse. Phantom wants treasure, we give it to him. All over island are tin coins from Captain Avery's last birthday. There were five kinds. Get one of each and bring them to me. Go quickly. We gotta go find ten coins. Let's go look. So find the blessed coin in Skull Cave. Let's do this. I remember when this game came out, though, um, the environment was just so cool. And I've, I've got to say that overall, it looks like a much mature, much more mature game than Wizard 101. Even though Wizard 101 isn't bad at all. Wizard 101 is made probably, I would say, for more kids. But I think I would say it's about the same with both games. That the same ratio of kids to adults playing. I still like Wizard a lot better. Just the cartooniness of the graphics kind of is bright and vivid, <laughs> even though that really didn't make too much sense. Let's go find the blessed coin. Oh my gosh! Later, you can have up to four pirates in a fight, but we'll get to that. We've got to take out these guys first. Should be easy. Okay. Attack! Okay, let's see. With honor. With honor. <laughs> With honor. <laughs> that guy just got torn apart. <laughs> this is the rare ninja pig um companion I gave out codes for. And it's still getting comments, which is crazy. <laughs> which um I can't believe he's still getting comments, but my friend Aiden, uh, he might have already, his contest might already be over. Dark Knight 535. If you want to check out his channel, Dark Knight 535. He was doing the same giveaway. He had the same codes. And they're rare because not everyone got these. Um, came These came in the mail, these maps, and they gave away three rare Ninja Pig companion codes. And I gave away two. So, or did I give away three? Did it come with four? No, I think it came with three, but I used one, so I gave two away. I'm not sure exactly, but I think that's it. Um, here's a blessed coin. Look there. That looks like one of the coins. There's an inscription. Blessing of strength. Now we gotta go into the Temple of Bloom and find another coin. We have a lot of loading going on. I've not been on this game so long. <laughs> As you meet enemies, look at the color of their names. That'll tell you how tough they are. Gray means weaker than you. Yellow is about as strong as you. Orange means tougher than you. But guys, let me do let me know down below if you want more Wizard 101 or Pirate 101. Like I could bring both. 
and I know a lot of people would like the return of this type of content, but there's just not a lot of people on or a lot of stuff to do, and I could bring some battles and stuff, but let me know. Um, probably we'll get more Wizard101 responses because that's what my channel is made for. Another coin. We found another coin. Look at the edging. A blessing of a courage. Now we gotta find the blessed coin in Skull Mountain. Ooh, don't want to get into battle with these stupid things. I believe we have two more coins after this, and then I think we will wait over there. Let's take a look. There's something glimmering over there. A coin, perhaps. It says, blessing of luck. I'm thinking we should just port back. Because <laughs> that's probably going to save a lot of time. Yep, it did. Okay, the coin should be over here. So one last coin, then we've got to give this pirate ghost thing a, his treasure before he comes and curses the city, or the island. But one thing I've got to say about Pirate 101 and uh, over Wizard 101 is that if you're comparing the environments, they're much more diverse in this game. They're much more wide open. You can sail for miles and really just explore the land. And in Wizard 101, you can explore the land, but not on this um, grand of a scale. You know, you can just tell, like, there's so many islands and things to do. And just looking down, look at this, like we're in the sky, which is legit. So I really like how they designed this, and I think it's, it's really unique. Oh crap, we went home by accident. <laughs> Here's Welcome our home. home pirate. Want to decorate? Click the button with the bed in the lower right. No, we do not want to decorate. Actually, that just did save us time. <laughs> you found all the coins? Well done. Now, my magic make them look and taste like gold to Phantom. He will be fooled. At the foot of statue is a chest. Put coins in and lock them away. Go quickly. I feel dark magic growing stronger. 
I'm going. I'm going random lady that is a witch doctor. <laughs> Not random because she is a teacher, but... See, why don't you just throw the statue off the island? <laughs> Over there, that looks like the chest. I don't think that guy, Captain Avery, would agree with it, but just, like, throw the statue and hope that he follows the statue. We conquered the dark magic. Come, Captain Avery needs to be told the statue was cursed. I'm coming, Captain Avery. Oh my, a curse! I'd have never thought. It's such a remarkable work of art. I'm impressed that you took the initiative to rid it of the dark magic. I know just the thing to reward you for your efforts. How about a miniature replica of the statue? Lovely, isn't it? Great, I hope this one isn't cursed. <laughs> Probably gonna give me like some like disease or something. <laughs> When I touch it. Well guys, I think that was a fun video and just doing this new Pirate 101 quest, um, it was fun. It was a Halloween kind of special type thing and overall I enjoyed it but I want to thank you all for watching and if you want me to bring more Pirate 101, let me know. Tristan Amelcaster or by my Pirate 101 name, Loyal Wesley Carter, out.